neighbors' rights, the rights of neighbors according to Quran and Sunnah. Let's see the ayahs of the Quran and also the hadith. In this, the ayah of the Quran, it's mentioned, Vajari zil qurba vajari junubi vasahibi bi jamb. Allah the Exalted says, the neighbor who is a stranger, the companion by your side. So here, you know, the neighbor can be three types. It's very next door neighbor, the one who is uh, your neighbor and also the neighbor who can be your relative. And the neighbor, like, you know, when you are traveling or you are going anywhere, sitting next to them or spending some time, they are also neighbor. So here, the neighbor who is a stranger companion by your side, they are also your neighbor. So you have to be good to them. It can be anyone. And here it was uh, narrated in Tirmizi, Abdullah bin Amr radiallahu anhu narrated, Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa said, the best of the companions near Allah is the one who is best of to his companions and best of neighbors near Allah is the one who is best of them to his neighbors. So here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, if you are uh, like uh, best of companions near Allah, is one who is best to the neighbors. So how can we best to the neighbors? Like, you know, taking care of them, asking them and not troubling them. And uh, in one of the narration, we learn that if they are hungry, we are supposed to feed them. We are supposed to give them food. And uh, even the petty things, if they need, we should help them, right? And next, uh, Hadith, in this uh, we learn that uh, uh, hadith number 191, Ibn Abbas عنه, narrated that I heard Messenger of Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam say he is not a believer who fills his stomach while his neighbor is hungry. That's what I was uh, saying. Like uh, you are having food and you are eating and they are not having food. That is not the thing. Like you have to take care of them because it's a part of the belief. Yaqulu laysal mu'minun an allazi yashba'u wajarul ja'i'un. So you have to take care of your neighbor. And uh, taking care of the neighbor is a part of our iman. And this we are doing from Riyadu Salihin, the hadith which is compiled in Husni Akla. The next hadith was narrated by Aisha radiallahu anha, narrated that Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said, Jibrail continued to enjoin me about the rights of neighbors till I thought he would soon make them as my heirs. So there was so much emphasis on taking care of the neighbors that Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa thought perhaps there will be in uh, like, uh, thought he would soon make them as the heirs. So what happens, you know, neighbors, they are your next door. And if you are not taking care of them and you are not being good to them, they feel bad, isn't it? And uh, this is part of our deen, being good to them. Uh, the next hadith was narrated by Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu. Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa used to say, Oh Muslim uh, ladies, a lady neighbor should not look down upon the gift of her lady neighbor, even if it was the trotter of a sheep. Just imagine, trotter of a sheep is a very small thing, but that also don't think it's a petty. Like in olden days, what used to happen, Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa used to say, like if you are making anything, make more by putting more water and more uh, like uh, spices so that you have more and you can share with your neighbors. And just imagine if you make it for two, you still can eat for four because it has baraka. So that's what it mentioned. Like don't think it's petty. Uh, and there are a few things you have to take care of. Like, you know, uh, what are the ingredients and halal and haram and the packaged food because some neighbors, they don't uh, eat what we eat because of some allergies and different uh, taste uh, and so on. So uh, you can give them which they they used uh, to, uh, they used to eating, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, the last hadith, Aisha radiallahu narrated that I said, Oh Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa I have two neighbors. 
which of two should I give a gift? Prophet ﷺ said, the one whose door is nearer to you of the two. You know, you have two neighbors. One is right, one is left. So yeah, she asked to whom she should give the gift. He said, one, should, uh, one who is very close. This reminds like, you know, when we eat food, what we do? We start from which is very close to you, isn't it? So that's what uh, regarding neighbor also. So this reminds like... Uh, being good to them uh, and uh, sharing the small things, even like a trotter of the sheep. So, because, you know, many times it happens uh, for small thing, you feel like uh, just uh, asking the next door instead of going all the way to the market. And especially if your neighbor is a relative too, then it has double reward, helping the neighbor and also helping your relative. And if they smell something good, you are cooking and you are not sharing, that's not the thing. But there, there can be exceptions because, as I mentioned, cultural differences and the country uh, has different rules and uh, because of the allergy and so on and so forth, one has to be careful regarding sharing the food. Otherwise, you know, be good to the neighbor and you can be a source of good to them, but not the source of uh, harming them or not the source to be uh, the thing which they feel uh, like you are a turbulence to them. Jazakallah khairan kaseera.